Hello friends, my name is Aiden from grade two class. How are you? I miss you. Today, teacher Stephen will pray for us. Please close your eyes and put your hands together. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, l o 가정의 예배가 될수 있도록 이 시간을 주님께서 함께하여 주시옵소서 사랑의 하나님 주님은 저희들의 힘이고 능력이십니다 주님을 의지하고 나갑니다 아버지 하나님 이 어려운 시기에 우리 아이들 믿음 잃지 않도록 또 힘들어하지 않도록 하나님께서 이루어여 주시옵소서 그리고 우리 주님의 제자 교회를 주님 축복하여 주시고 각 가정에서 예배드리는 예배드릴 때에 하나님께서 함께하여 주시옵소서 온전히 주님께 드리는 예배가 될수 있도록 이 주일 아침을 주님이 함께하여 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 우리 전도사님을 축복하여 주시고 오늘 전도사님 말씀을 들고 선포합니다. 우리 아이들이 귀를 열고 마음을 열고 저는 말씀을 통해서 하나님이 원하시는 그 뜻을 잘 알아가는 그 시간 될수 있도록 아버지 하나님 우리 전주사님 능력을 더하여 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 우리 아이들 어, 이번 주면 학교를 돌아가 학교에 돌아갑니다. 아버지 하나님 학교에서도 또 열심히 공부할 수 있도록 지혜와 명철을 더하여 주시고 또 좋은 시간 보낼 수 있도록 도와여 함께하여 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 주님 저희들 삶을 주님께서 지켜주시고 또이 예배에 함께하여 주셔서 온전히 주님께 드리는 예배가 될수 있도록 아버지 하나님 지켜주시옵소서 또 빨리 예배당에서 예배 드릴 수 있는 시간을 주님 소망합니다. 그 시간을 기대하는 그 마음으로 주님께 나가오니 아버지 하나님 빨리 만나서 좋은 시간 보낼 수 있도록 또그 시간도 주님께서 함께 하여 주시옵소서 오늘도 감사드리고 주님 찬양과 영광 받아 주시옵소서 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 감사하며 기도 드립니다. 아멘 
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in
The title of today's sermon is Loved, and today's passage is taken from Genesis 37, verse 1 to 4. Genesis 37, verse 1 to 4. Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family line. Joseph, a young man of 17, was tending the flocks with his brothers, the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives, and he brought their father a bad report about them. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of the, his other sons, because he had been born to him in his old age, and he made an ornament robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Okay, amen. So, I found today's passage a little difficult. When I think of Joseph, I think of him as the king of dreams. Have you guys seen the movie? You know the one where Joseph sings the You Know Better Than I song? The one where the camel pulls up Joseph's head and hair from under the sand? Or was that Moses in The Prince of Egypt? Anyways, my point is, when I think of Joseph, I think of this nice guy that everybody liked. And I picture the, his brothers as these terrible people who sold their baby brother because they were jealous of how much their father loved him. And then they even put goat's blood on Joseph's pretty coat to make it look like beasts had eaten him. In my mind, in the Joseph story, there were the good guys, the good guys being Joseph and his father Jacob, and the bad guys, the bad guys being Joseph's brothers. But as I read today's text, my mind began to change. First of all, Joseph was a tatter tale, and we all know nobody likes tatter tales. Verse 2 says that Joseph would tell his dad Jacob bad stories about his brothers and stepmoms. And then verse 3 says that Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other sons. Joseph was his favorite son. Imagine. I know some of you have brothers and sisters. Imagine if your mom made it obvious, made it obvious that they loved your brother or sister more than you. Wouldn't that make you real mad and sad? I remember when I was like five years old or something, we were all at the dinner table. We had fish and pop for dinner and my brother, he got this gashi stuck in his throat. Have you guys had a fish bone stuck in your throat before? It's the worst feeling, right? You need to swallow loads and loads of pop to get that bone down. And it really hurts as it goes down as well. Anyways, so my brother was choking and he was turning all red. And I remember my parents giving all their attention to him because obviously he needed help. But I was such a brat. Even though my brother was getting attention because he needed it, I was so immature and I was so silly. <laughs> I always had to have my parents' attention, all of my parents' attention. I remember I got up from the dinner table and I said, nobody loves me. Hmm. And as I began to walk away, I could see my mom's expression from the side of my eye going, my goodness, this girl could not be more selfish. I don't know her. <laughs> I was the worst. I admit I was the worst. It was embarrassing. But but the point I want to make is that even when your brother or sister need your parents' complete attention, sometimes you can't help but feel a little jealous, right? Imagine if your parents gave your brother or sister more love and attention even when they didn't really have to. The Bible says that Jacob loved Joseph so much that he gave him this beautiful coat. And Joseph's brothers saw and Joseph's brothers saw this as a sign that their father would give all his land to Joseph. Not only that, in those days, clothes with long sleeves, clothes like robes, were worn by people who didn't work. People who could afford not to work. People who worked wore short sleeves or no sleeves because they'd get hot under the sun. So, to Joseph's brothers, this meant that not only would Joseph get all their father's land, he also wouldn't have to work for it. 
this was unfair. I mean, even Jacob is so napaso. I mean, how can he have a favorite child? That's not right, right? Honestly, by just reading today's passage, I don't blame Je- uh, Joseph's brothers for not liking him at all. And then, and then, he has the nerve to tell his brothers his dream about their bundles of wheat bowing down to his bundles of wheat. And his brothers, his hyongas, are like, so you're saying we're gonna bow down to you? Mm, but then, but then Joseph doesn't stop there. He tells his dad and his brothers about his second dream, about the sun and the moon and the 11 stars bowing down to him. And this time, even his dad is like, okay, okay, chill, brother man, ease up on your dream telling. You know what? If I were Joseph's brothers, I think I would have sold him too. But then what's the point of the story? Everyone's bad. Everybody's bad. Well, sort of, but not really. Listen up. If, J- if Isaac, sorry, if Jacob didn't li- love Joseph more than all his sons, maybe Joseph wouldn't have been such a tattertale. And if Joseph wasn't such a tattertale, then maybe his brothers would have liked him more and not sold him. But, 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 If they had never sold Joseph as a slave, Joseph would have never gone to Egypt. And if Joseph didn't go to Egypt, he would have never been sold to Potiphar. And if Joseph wasn't sold to Potiphar, Potiphar's wife would have never said those horrible things about him. And if Potiphar's wife didn't say those horrible things about Joseph, then Joseph would have never, ever gone to prison. And if Joseph was never put in prison, then he would have never met Pharaoh's baker and butler. And if Joseph If Joseph never met Pharaoh's baker and butler, he would have never had the chance to interpret their dreams. And if he never had the chance to interpret their dreams, he would have never had the chance to meet and interpret Pharaoh's dreams. And if he never interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, Joseph would have never become the prime minister. And if Joseph never became the prime minister, then nobody would have been able to prepare for the famine that had happened. If nobody prepared for the famine that had happened, then his family back in Canaan, his brothers and his fathers, and his father, sorry, would have suffered and died in the famine. You see, my friends, as I read the Old Testament, I have found a pattern. Do you guys know what that pattern I found was? Let me tell you. I found that people, everybody, no matter if you think they're good or bad, do silly and terrible things over and over and over again. But God, God finds a way to save them and rescue them over and over and over again. Jacob loved Joseph more than all his other sons. Jacob had a favorite son. But God, does our God have favorites? Does he love you more than your sister or your brother or friend? I can hear some of you (laughs) saying through the screen, "Mm, sometimes. Nope. No, my lovelies. The answer is no. God doesn't love anyone more than he loves anyone else. He loves us all the same. Jacob loved Joseph most, the most, but God loved Joseph's brothers, Jacob and Joseph equally. He loved them all equally. He wanted to save them all. God used the bad and sad situations that everybody in Jacob's family made and were a part of to make a way to provide for them, to show them that he loves them and is watching over them all. Even though sometimes we make mistakes, God is so good and He loves us so much that He can use any situation, any of our mistakes to show us His love for us. Remember the theme for last year's VBS? When life is hard, God is good. When life is sad, 
God is good. When life is good, God is good. You see, my friends, God is good all the time. And God's love for you never ends. You, my friend, are loved. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for never stopping to love us. Thank you for sharing your goodness with us. Thank you for rescuing us no matter what situation we're in. Thank you for giving us your love to share amongst ourselves, for giving us your love to share with our brothers and sisters. Father God, your love is enough, and sometimes, but, but sometimes, we forget this. Help us to always remember that your love is enough. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so this week, what do you guys think we're going to fold? <laughs> I have a hint. We're going to fold something that Joseph wore. We're going to fold robes. We're going to fold Joseph's robes. But I want you to fold it and decorate it any way you want. And inside or anywhere, anywhere on, on the robe, I want you to write, clothed in his love. Clothed in his love. Because you, my friends, are clothed in his love. Have a great week, guys.